Hi and welcome to another Excel tutorial and this one we'll be looking at how to enter, format and calculate with time. Now I've got a simple example here of a staff rotor for Fred's shop, um, including himself. He just wants to know what time people start, what time they finish, how many hours they've worked and how much he has to pay them. Fairly standard thing for any business really. Um, when you enter time, there's a few rules to observe. Now, if I enter Fred's time as 9 a.m., his start time, I could just type in 9 a.m., but that wouldn't work as far as Excel's concerned. It wouldn't calculate with that because it's just a piece of text. So we need to enter it in such a way that Excel will deal with it as a, as a number that it can calculate with. And to do that, instead of just typing 9 a.m., we type 9 space a looks a bit similar but the space bit is critical press enter and Excel recognizes that as a time entry 9 a.m. now let's say Fred's finish time is 530 I can enter that by typing 5 for the hour colon type the minutes obviously 30 spacebar letter P press enter 530 p.m. and again if we go back to that cell and look in the formula bar you will notice that Excel has formatted that in its own format but in a 24 hour clock as opposed to a 12 hour clock. You can actually enter times in a 24 hour version if you want to or a 12 hour version. Obviously if you want a 12 hour clock you need to indicate that by putting the A for AM and the P for PM. So in the next one on down I could simply type in 09 colon 00 for 9 o'clock and then I could type say 18.00 6pm and Excel is quite happy with that format as well. Now I'm going to reformat those so they're in the format that I want so I'm going to select those two cells and if you want to reformat time what you do is obviously select the cells you want to change go to format choose cells. Now there are some built-in time formats but I'm going to go to the custom settings again here and there's one I'm particularly interested in, which is this one here, which has got the H for hours, colon, MM for minutes, and then it's got an A and PM indicator. So if I click on that, click OK, that will then reformat those numbers to a 12-hour clock. And I'll just add in Jim's hours as well. So he comes in at 9.30 a.m. and he leaves, let's say, who knows, well, let's say he goes at 5.30 as well, so 5 colon. 30 space P press enter 5:30 p.m. The next step is to work out how many hours these people have worked, and I'm going to format these cells in advance. Okay, these three. So I'm going to select those cells, go to Format, choose Cells. I'm going to go to Custom Setting again, and I'm going to delete out that general, and I'm just going to type out double H for hours and double M for minutes. Okay, you can type a single H if you want; it doesn't matter and click OK. So those are formatted ready for my calculation and the calculation is very simple similar to the date calculation type equals obviously click on the higher value in other words the later time and then subtract off the earlier time and click on the little tick and we get eight and a half hours. So that one more time so press equals click on the later time minus click on the earlier time click on the little tick and that tells me how many hours that person has worked and this time the last one I'll just copy that formula down it tells me that Jim's worked eight hours now the pay rates I'm going to format this in advance so I'm going to select those cells go to format cells this time choose currency no decimal places keep the pound sign click OK and we're going to put in there let's say 10 for Fred 8 for Lisa and 8 for Jim as well Okay, and so we come to work out how much we should pay these people. Okay, let's say we do it as you might do it without worrying too much about it. Equals number of hours they've worked, multiply by how much they earn per hour. Click on the little tick, and well, that is not right, is it really? So I think uh, Fred would be a little bit upset if you only paid him £13 for his eight and a half hours' work. So something's gone wrong there, and I'm going to show you why it's gone wrong. If I go back to the hours, I'm going to go Format, Cells, 
and if I click on the general category I'll click OK so you can see in more detail what we actually have is a decimal value and that is the time represented as a fraction of the day so eight and a half hours is 0.35 of a 24 hour period in other words 1.00 will be 24 hours and so on so what we need to do when we do the calculation is allow for this fact that Excel stores times as a decimal value or a fraction and multiply by 24 so we get a, a correct value so by multiplying by 24 we actually get the 8.5 as opposed to the 0.354 okay so first thing I'm going to do is, is return that format I can just do that by clicking the undo button click in the pay box and do the calculation so what I'm going to do is format these cells again as currency before we start and here we go then right so the calculation then is as before equals open a bracket you don't have to bracket this part of the calculation but I think it's a good idea to do that it helps you understand which parts are separated out click on the hours and then multiply by 24 close the bracket and then multiply the result of that calculation by the pay rate click on the tick again and we get 85 pounds which is now correct okay that one more time and this time I won't use the bracket just to show you it does work without as well if you want to do it that way so equals click on the hours multiply by 24 and then multiply that by the rate of pay click on the tick and then I'm just going to copy that last one down again and click away so you can see the result so that really is how you enter format and do basic calculation with time uh, remember when you're dealing with time values Excel stores them as a fraction and you need to multiply out to get the correct value for calculating especially when it comes to rates of pay otherwise you could accept some people with very low pay packets okay I have another example and this is to illustrate how to add times together uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting here and select those column headings there and just center those so what we have is uh, some movies uh, we need to enter the start times and the duration of the trailers the duration of the movie add up those two and then we need to work out the end time of the performance which is going to be basically the start time plus the time it takes to watch the trailers of the movie if that makes sense so I'm going to enter my start time for these films and I'm going to enter them as you saw before like this so nice and simple next one is 7.30 p.m. 8 p.m. and you can see the format I'm adopting here and simply typing the hour if it's a p.m. In this case, it's actually going to be AM. <laughs> and press the letter A, so it's 11 AM. And a final one, call it 6.30. Remember to use your colon to separate, as I didn't there. To separate the hours and minutes. And if you want to use a 24-hour clock, remember to use the P or the A for PM or AM. So those are my start times. OK, so the trailers. Well, the trailers are all running for 15 minutes. So to do that, I'm going to type 0 for hours, colon. 15 for minutes, press enter. Now I need to copy that down and to do that put your mouse pointer over the bottom right as you would do normally hold down the control key and then drag down and that will copy the 15 minute entry into each of those cells. Okay so we uh, go to the movie times now and I've got these from Internet Movie Database and I happen to know that uh, Greece is 1 hour and 50 minutes okay now if you don't want it to say 0150 you can format it so it doesn't show the leading zero I'm not too worried about that at the moment but I'll, I'll format it anyway later on so we can fix that little bug two hours four minutes for Jaws one hour 59 minutes for Citizen Kane one hour 41 for The Wizard of Oz in case you ever wondered and Singing in the Rain is one hour 43 minutes okay so I will actually format these to remove that leading zero so I'll select cells go format cells and I go to my time option and you can see it says HH at the moment all I do is delete one of those H's and click OK and that's a nice easy way of doing it right so I need to add up my times now and I'm going to select those cells first of all and format them go to cells go to custom and I'm going to do it as HH colon 
mm. So I'll have my leading zero on the hours. I'm not too worried about that though. Okay, so calculation then. Click the cell where I want the result to appear, which is F7. Equals, and it doesn't matter which way around I go. Click on the first time, press add on the keyboard, click on the second time, click on the tick, and it's two hours and five minutes. Again, just double click to copy those times down. So we know the total duration of each performance now. And now we want to know the end time of the performance. Now again, I'm going to highlight these cells and format them before I actually do the calculation. If I go to custom, okay, this time I'm going to have it, well actually I'll find the setting I want in there because it's the hours with the uh, AM and PM, there we go. So I've got H for hours, minutes, AM, PM, click OK. And this time I do equals, click on the start time and then add the duration and click on the tick. And it tells me that show ends at 10.05 PM. Do one more, click equals, click on the start time, plus on the keyboard, click on the duration, click on the tick, and there we go, 9.49 p.m. is when the jaw show ends and so on. Let's drag those down to complete. So there we are, there's a couple of examples of how you enter, format, and calculate with time. I hope you found that useful, you can apply it to your spreadsheets. Um, there'll be lots more videos coming up, so stay tuned, subscribe if you're interested in uh, keeping up to date with what I'm doing, and thank you for watching, and see you next time.